Amen. Let's all arise and we want to welcome our speaker uh, this um, this morning, none other than the lady that uh, we we share many things. We we pay loans and we have children and grandchildren. Let's welcome Pascal Eskimani. We can have our seats. God's word with you. If there is one person we can describe in the Bible that he walked at the open heavens, it was Jesus Christ. Jesus, we all know he lived, he walked, he walked at the open heavens. Things just made way for him. Wherever he went, there was a difference. Jesus, our best example. I'd want us to read the word of God from the Luke chapter 2 verse 52. You can give us in NIV or New King James Version. Luke 2 52. Can we read together? And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and men. I want you to hold it there. Jesus, our best example, increased in three areas. And I know this morning I'm talking to expectant hearts. Expectant people who woke up very early this morning to come and seek God regarding their lives in the, in the year 2019. And I have the word of the Lord for you this morning. That you are ready for open heavens. Then there are three areas you have no option. But there has to be change in these three areas. You will have to grow in wisdom. Like Jesus Christ, your best example. You will have to grow in stature. And you will have to grow in favor. Wisdom. The Bible says in the, in the book of James chapter 1. I think verse 5. It talks about if you don't have, if any one of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. This morning I had started by saying, Jesus Christ, our best example. If you are going to walk at the open heavens, you have to grow in wisdom. And maybe this morning you are wondering, wisdom, how do I get wisdom? I desire wisdom. Solomon said in the book of Proverbs, in all you are getting, the wisdom, you get understanding. The 
the word of God has the answer for us. Do you desire wisdom this year? In this year? Wisdom simply means God of possibilities. The bishop has been reminding us many times this year that he, actually the heavens have always been open. But we should be asking the Lord to open up our eyes that we may be able to see possibilities. Our God, God of possibilities. What you desire is that wisdom to turn around whatever it is we have been stuck in that you can increase in wisdom. This morning, you can ask the Lord. If any one of you lacks wisdom, and I know, I know you have wisdom, but we desire some more. This morning, you can ask the Lord, who gives generously? In another version, it says, he gives generously. God is so generous. Amen. God of possibilities. May you receive the anointing of great possibilities in your life. May the Lord open up your understanding. That business of yours, you are so convinced that this is where the Lord has called me. But it's not growing. May you receive. And that is why you should desire so much to come for the Kesha on Friday. The anointing of opening up your eyes. If I were you, I would say in this one, God, help me. If there is one prayer I am asking the Lord, is that he is going to help us in this CIK family to have such a sharp appetite of seeking the Lord. You all know the, the, what, what brings you down. Some of us, to withstand a chocolate, even if you had said you will not eat and you see a chocolate, I pray that you be hearing the word prayer and you say whatever it is, I'm ready to pay the price. Because one of the sources of wisdom is when you sit at the presence of the Lord. The Holy Spirit, our best teacher, it is when you are waiting on your bended knees that the Lord drops in you an idea and you go and try it. And because it is from heaven, the wisdom of man cannot rise against it. Therefore, in this year of open heavens, may you receive such an appetite of seeking God that you will, it will be a delight to have a moment with the Lord. Hanging out with the Holy Spirit will be a delight. Coming for prayers will be a delight. Coming for a fellowship will be a delight. Going for the home cell, you'll be saying another opportunity. May you receive an appetite for wisdom so that you may be able to contain what God is about to release to your hands. There are some blessings the Lord will not embarrass himself by releasing to you because he knows you don't have the capacity. Some of us, we are our own obstacles. I pray that you not be among them, that the Lord cannot, can still trust your capability of holding it we are waiting for open heavens and you are doing zero. I can assure you the year will come. By the way, January is already behind us. Only 11, short of 11 months to go. But I pray that the Lord when he's through, he will be looking my way because he knows I have the capacity. May the Lord grow you to have the capacity in the area of wisdom so that you can be able to contain what he has for you. The Bible says that no ear has had, no eye has seen what the Lord has kept for you. This morning you can have it if you seek for it. Without reproach, and it will be given to you. The Lord has said that he'll give it to you. The promises of the Lord are yea and amen. So if the Lord has said and you have not yet received then there must be something wrong in from the Lord up to you. It is upon you to work out on it so that the Lord will reveal to you. The Lord will give you wisdom so that you do things differently.
differently and your life will not be the same again. May you receive that wisdom. May you receive that appetite. May you receive that desire. That your desire will push you to the presence of the Lord. Your desire for God will help you forfeit that breakfast. Your desire from God, for God, will make you forfeit that lunch. It is out of order that you are so comfortable having three meals in a day. Three hot meals in a day. And you can stand and you are comfortable in the year of open heavens you can do with a small cold snack spiritual snack did you hear what I said it is out of order and you cannot withstand you don't have the capacity that you are so comfortable to do with three meals in a day and a snack of prayer and a snack of Bible reading and a snack, where will you get the wisdom? Wisdom, you can only have it from the word of God. Where will you get it if you cannot wait on the Lord on your knees? Where? How will you? You'll just be surprised what is happening as you will see others fry and you are still crawling. I declare this morning you will not be among the ones who are crawling because you will ask of the Lord and he is faithful and the Lord who has started a good work in you he is faithful and he will complete it if you believe it you can say Amen the other area you have to grow it is in the area of stature, stature has to do with the size, let me tell you in the year of open heavens you have to increase you have to expand you have to grow. You have to be bigger. Your influence must be greater. You have to. That latest group of viewers has to grow. In the year of open heavens, you should be very busy asking the Lord which way, how. But I can assure you, there are some which are standard. Partnering with God, not optional. There has to be growth in size. Maybe you can project for us in NIV, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6 to 8. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6 to 8. Give me an NIV, please. Shall we read together? Aish, Aish, Abana. Be present in reading, okay? Your voice and your mind and your spirit together and a voice should be louder than that with conviction. Shall we go? The Lord our God said to us at Horeb, you have stayed long enough at this mountain. Verse 7. Break camp and advance into the hill country of the Amorites. Go to all the neighboring peoples in the Araba, in the mountains, in the western foothills, in the Negev, and along the coast, to the land of the Canaanites, and to Lebanon, as far as the great river, the Euphrates. Verse 8. See, I have given you this land. Go in and take possession of the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and to their descendants after them. This morning we have the promise of the Lord. We are growing in size. Imagine you have stayed in that size. They had stayed in the same place until God had to come and tell them, hey, excuse me, you have been here wrong enough. That's what verse 6 says. Maybe you can put verse 6. You have been here long enough. And this morning, I want to echo these words to the people listening to me that the Lord our God is telling us this morning, you have stayed long enough at this mountain. You have to break camp. Tell your neighbor I have to break camp. Hey, say like you believe it. I have to break camp. And let me tell you, it's not just saying. It was not just saying. They were given further instructions. There was a lot of going. I don't know whether you noted the word go. A lot 
fruit of doing. Growth has to do with the doing. It is then that God blesses the labors of your hands. I pray that this morning you are going to be so busy doing what the Lord is telling you until there will be change, until there will be growth, until there will be increase. The promise of the Lord, the promises of the Lord are yea and amen. I don't know where you have been stuck. I don't know what you have been trying. Here come. It never came to pass. But I have got good news for you this morning. The Lord is saying, you have been here long enough. You have been there long enough. The Lord wants you to grow. I am a mother. And, I, and it can be very frustrating when you have a child and she doesn't or he doesn't look like he's growing. When I got my firstborn, I had a neighbor. The neighbor has been, had been a long friend. And we got our children more or less at the same time. My daughter, my daughter Steve, came out quite early. My friend's daughter Steve, even at one year, she, she didn't have one, 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 one tooth. So one day she came to my house and she told me, Mama Nyambura, I want to go to see the doctor. I asked her, why? My daughter, one year, not a single one, Sasa Agaria Nyambura. Nyambura has got several, and my daughter has none. It was, by the way, it was not fun. It was such a concern, and we had to pray about it. Hey, growth to any mother, to any parent, even to brothers and sisters. You get so concerned. Talk to a doctor. Have you ever thought why you are asked to take your baby to a clinic every month? They want to see whether they even, because they know some of us who are illiterate. Maybe our parents, they never went to school. They give you a graph and they tell you if the weight is below this, something needs to be done. And if it is above things, maybe it is an indicator something is not right. And this morning, the Holy Spirit has the gauge. The Holy Spirit has a graph and he's saying this morning, you have been there wrong enough. Your Christian walk has been there wrong enough. You have been stuck at this one. Hey, the Lord is saying to us, Deliverance Church, Zimmerman, your prayer meetings on Monday, hey. Let me tell you, even if you pray about them from morning to evening, and you don't give them your gift of presence, we are just wasting our time. Tell your neighbor you are the answer. You know some of these things. There was the going project for us, verse 7. Maybe, let's read again, verse 7. Let's go. Break camp and advance into the hill country of the Amorites. Only you know who, who are the, your Amorites, okay? Go to all the neighboring peoples in the Araba. Can we read? In the mountains, in the western foothills, in the Negev, and in around the coast, to the land of the Canaanites, and to Lebanon, as far as the great river, the Euphrates. There is a lot of doing. This year of open heavens, the Lord has already opened. He wants you to do something different. He wants you to break camp. He wants you to have change. He wants you to pray more. Maybe you have been praying five minutes. Now you can do ten minutes. Maybe you have been coming for only one service, the express service. You can say this year, I want to build capacity. I'll be coming on a Monday. Maybe you may not be able to come in the evening, but you can come during the day, get your corner, and build capacity so that you may be able to withstand, to contain what the Lord has for you in the year of open heavens. And verse 8, it's like the explanation was not, in, was not good enough. Verse 8, he said, See, I have given you this land. Go in. Who was going? They're going. They're doing. It is me and you. We want to increase. Do you want to increase? There is work for you. There will be some, there has to be something you have to do differently for you. To, for open heavens to mean something different in 2019. The Lord has sown. Go in and take possession of the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac.
Isaac and Jacob and to their descendants after them. The Lord has already given the promise. Now it is upon you and me. And let me tell you, it is this doing that you seek to do this. A few things. Number one, you will ask the Lord to help you to be at the right place at the right time. When you are misplaced, there are some blessings which are just attached to a place. For example, what you are hearing this morning, even if that brother or that sister is saying that she is with us in the spirit, are you sure she is experiencing what you are experiencing? Hey, some of them it is physical possession. Pray that the Lord will cause you to be at the right place. In the book of Ruth, the Lord caused Ruth to be at the right place at the right time. The Bible says that when she went to look to green for Barry, she just happened to be at the right, the right farm, Boaz's farm. And because she was in the right place, can you imagine if now Ruth decided to stay with her mother in law in the house? She would have missed her moment of divine connection. But she was at the right place. At the right time. Because later on, when she was busy correcting the leftovers, Boaz showed up. The Holy Spirit will show up when you are in the right place. Boaz showed up. And Boaz, the Bible says Boaz asked, who is this woman? And she was told, the daughter of Naomi. And the Bible says, Boaz had one-on-one -on -one with Ruth. I have heard about you. The way you are so kind to your mother-in-law. Let me tell you, brethren, this morning, there are some blessings that we'll only be able to tap from if you are at the right place, at the right time, and with the right people. It happened that Ruth was in the right place, and God caused that the right people were there. Boaz was there. And because she was in the right place, Boaz gave instructions to the other to the, the other reapers and said, be kind to her. Be calling her when you are having food. Let me tell you, it is because Ruth was in the right place. In the year of open heavens, may the Lord help you to know where you should be when. Second thing, you have to be in the right company. You have to be in the right company. This simply means there, is, there are some people you will have to drop with no apologies. This reminds me to the book of Jonah. We all know that the, the ship was almost sinking until Jonah had to be thrown to the sea. Maybe there were some sympathizers. I'm just imagining. Who are saying, now how can you throw How can you throw him to the sea? Let me tell you, it is not your business. When Jonah was thrown out, everybody in the sea, in the ship was safe. And the good news is, even Jonah himself, God took care of him. So don't be so concerned what will happen to him, what will happen to her. That is none of your business. Their destiny is, is in the hands of the Lord. Therefore, there are some people, there are some relationships that you will have to disconnect for you to be safe and your neighbors and your family to be safe. There are some relationships which are not debatable. God who brought them to this world, will take care of them. Now how can, he, how can I leave him? And you know the way he has been kind. Excuse me, he has a father in heaven. God took care of Jonah. And God took care of everybody who was in the ship. You want to be able to withstand, to be able to hold the harvest of open heavens in 2019? There are some relationships that you have to sacrifice. There are some areas you have to say, no, I will not be found there. So you must be in the right place with the right people if you want to enjoy open heavens. Right people, 
right place, of course, doing the right thing. And finally, I started by saying three things will have to happen as we walk under open heavens. I talked about wisdom. I've talked about increase in size and what we need to do. And finally, I want to finish by saying favor. The Bible says where we read first in Luke 2, chapter, Luke 2 verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. The Bible says in Proverbs 16 that when your ways please the Lord, he will make even your enemies to be at peace with you. This morning, when you seek to please the Lord, even those enemies who seem to be pursuing wherever, you will see them no more. Because the Lord will declare it his battle. And nobody can be able to withstand God. I pray for you this morning that you will desire to please God. Did you know it is an impossible task to please everyone? Even when you are pleased, there are some who will still be annoyed. So you better stop trying to please everyone. Just please at the audience of one. Just seek to please the Lord. Because when you always please the Lord, He will cause even your enemies to be at peace with you. And let me tell you, and that is called favor. When you walk in the favor of the Lord, the Bible says in Psalms chapter 5 verse 12, that he causes his favor to, his favor becomes a shield for us. For you, O oh Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor, you will surround him as with a shield. May the favor of the Lord surround you like a shield in 2019, year of open heavens. You can imagine, it simply means this. It is a battle. It is true. You are on the law. But let me tell you when the Lord shields you, you just found things are turning out in your favor. For you, O oh Lord, you bless the righteous. I pray that you have moments when you can address God. For you, O oh God, that you can go to the Lord in the morning and say, Lord, here I am. The daughter you saved yesterday. The devil you prov the daughter you provided for yesterday. The daughter you helped last year is here to worship you. Is here to praise you. I pray that worship will become a lifestyle for you in Jesus' name. In this year of 2019, year of open heavens, Worship is not optional. I'm not talking about worship in church. I'm not talking about when the worship team come and help us. It is okay. It has its place. I'm talking about you. Do you remember to worship God for the things that he has done? And let me tell you, these things are practical. Last week, when we were going for these apostolic visits, in one of the areas, I sprained my leg. Hi. As well. But I was thinking about this. How you can worship God for the things that he has done. And in one of the days the Lord challenged me. I Have you forgotten? In 2016, you actually broke your leg and you are grounded for six weeks and you had what is it called? A cast. And in one of the mornings as I was praying, I was, this was what I was telling God. One hand, I literally found myself like I was lifting the leg that had broken and had a cast, I was telling God, God, aren't you the one who healed my right leg when it had a cast? This one didn't even have a cast. This one doesn't. It is painful, yes. But this one, but you did it 2016. You can do it in 2019. And God, you will do it. And I am telling you, God, I will not miss to go to any of this. Let me tell you. Imagine I did. That other time when I had a cast, don't worry, I, I had. You know some of us, are, you have just joined us. That was in 2016, the day after my birthday. I can tell you the time, the day, the place. It was a big deal. But let me tell you, the Lord did it for me. That today I don't remember I had. So when I lifted what God had done, 
I told God you can do this one. I told God you can do this one. And imagine he did. Imagine I'm wearing the shoes. Praise the Lord. It is because worship attracts God to you. When you worship God, it's like he has to turn his head and say, my daughter is worshiping me. My son is lifting me. I have to go and find out. Let me tell you, worshiping, when you worship the Lord and tell him what he has done, he will do even that which you are believing him for. Job chapter 42 verse 7. I'm still talking about favor. When the favor of God becomes your shield. This is the story of Job. When it, we are winding up the book of Job. And God turned the tide for Job. To work out for Job. And I know that in 2019. When you embrace to grow, to walk and live. And be different. The favor of the, of the Lord will rocket you. The favor of God rocketed Job. In spite of all what he had gone through. And this is what the Bible says from verse 7. Can we read together? Apana. Let's read with Ampango. Confidently. And so it was. After the Lord had spoken these words to Job. That the Lord said to Eliphaz, the Tamanite, My love is aroused against you and your two friends. For you have not spoken of me what is right as my servant Job has. Verse 8. Now therefore, take for yourselves seven bulls and seven rams. Go to my servant Job and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering. And my servant Job shall pray for you. For I will accept him lest I deal with you according to your foray, because you have not spoken of me what is right as my servant Job has. Let me come to you this morning. The favor of the Lord rocketed Job. And in spite of what he had gone through, God was commanding his friends to come and bless Job. May the Lord command many people to come and bless you. In 2019, it is God who was commanding the friends of Job. And now it looks like Job had the key. Job was holding the key for his friends. Take for yourself seven bulls, seven rams, and go to my servant Job. May the Lord be so proud to call you his servant. That you send you men and women in 2019. That you can connect them with their destiny. Because you'll be growing in favor. You will be growing in influence. May your influence grow in 2019. God was so specific. Offer up, up for yourselves a burnt offering. And my servant Job shall pray for you. For I will accept him lest I deal with you according to your foreign because you have not spoken of me what is right as my servant Job has. May the Lord give you the wisdom that you will not speak foolishly. You will not be so foolish that it will be a daily prayer. You will pray like, Dan, like David in Psalms 19. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto you. Let me tell you when the words of your mouth and the meditation of your heart is acceptable before God. Doors will open. Possibilities will open. Favor will surround you like a shield. God will take over your battles. God will take over your battles. He will cause even your enemies to be a blessing. And they'll start talking good about you. And may the Lord turn around the tide. These friends thought they were coming to encourage Job. But the tide was turned the other way around. Because Job was a wise man. May you be described as a wise brother. As a wise sister. Because you remind the words of your mouth to the glory of God. In 2019. favor with God and favor with man. And let me tell you, when you have favor with God, men are commanded to be a blessing. The Lord will command men and women to become solution in your life. May that become your portion. Because
Because you will do your part. And be different. There be different in 2019. Year of open heavens. Shall we pray? Maybe you are here this morning. And I'm, as I'm, I'm talking about growing. You can never grow unless you are planted. And this morning, the Lord would want to plant you in his kingdom. Maybe you are here this morning. You have never given your life to Jesus. That is the starting point. That's where now you start growing. So that you don't grow just to find out that you are growing in the wrong direction. You have been growing, that's why you are in church this morning. But you have been growing in the wrong direction. But this morning, you can say yes to Jesus and you start growing in the right direction. Are you here this morning and you have never given your life to Jesus and you would want to do that this morning? Are you here? With every eye sh shut, we have all closed our eyes. You want to give your life to Jesus. I would love to pray for you. If you can lift up your hand from wherever you are seated, I will see it and I will pray together. Would you want to give your life to Jesus? Come to Jesus. He is waiting. Come to Jesus. Are you here? You would want to give your life to Jesus. Shall we all arise? I want you to respond to what you have heard. I know I have said many things, but I know the Holy Spirit, there is that which he has dropped in your spirit. I want you to respond. Even as you connect in the spirit and tell the Lord with your own mouth, remember, it is you, not the pastor. It is you, not your cell leader. It is you who is connecting. It is you who needs to live and walk and talk at the open heavens. I want to give you a minute. Open up your mouth. You cannot be silent before the Lord. Let your mouth be open as you address God at the audience of one what you would want him to help you in 2019. I am sure there is that which the Holy Spirit is telling you. What you need to change. What you need to share. What you need to. Yes, let God hear about it. It is you, not about the others. Let your moment of coming to church this morning count before the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, you have heard the voice of every son and every daughter in the house this morning. Your word tells us that you are close to the brokenhearted. We are telling you that, Lord, we need you. We need you today and in the coming days. We need you in 2019. We need you, Lord. We desire that our lives will be the example of people who have walked under open heavens. May you give us the grace to grow the muscles, muscles of wisdom, muscles of possibilities as we walk in favor with yourself and with man. May this become our portion in 2019. May you give us the grace, the grace great grace to be doers of your word. We honor you and we bless you for hearing our prayer. For this is our prayer which we make in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you.